Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC. We are still in the middle of Pastors Appreciation Month and we've talked about several tips um, for how we can actually appreciate our pastors during this season. We talked about holding up their arms. We talked about <laughs> walking in what they are teaching. And today we're going to talk about another way we can show our appreciation to our pastors and that is by using our gifts. Let's get into it. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the importance of us using our gifts in the body of Christ. Sometimes I think we look to our pastor as the only person who has any gifts or the only person who can do things. And that can just be exhausting and totally wrong. Um, there are so many gifts within the body of Christ. You as an individual have gifts that you should be using to build the kingdom of the Lord. Gifts that you should be using to help grow the body of Christ and to support your pastor. Your pastor is not the only one who needs to be working. Um, there's a scripture um, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where the apostle Paul talks about how there are these different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers by the same spirit. Um, there are different ways to serve, but they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways the spirit works, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all these people. Um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 11, we'll say. Um, and so it says the Holy Spirit in verse 7 is given to each of us in a special way that is for the good of all. To some people, the Spirit gives a message of wisdom. To others, the same Spirit gives a message of knowledge. To others, the same Spirit gives faith to others that one spirit gives gifts of healing to others he gives the power to do miracles to others he gives the ability to prophesy to others he gives the ability to tell the spirits apart to others he gives the ability to speak in different kinds of languages that they had not known before and still to others he gives the ability to explain what was said in those languages all the gifts are produced by one and the same spirit he gives gifts to each person just as he decides. And there are other scriptures that talk about other gifts such as administration, um, gifts of helping, gifts of service, um, gifts of giving. So <laughs> there are so many different gifts, but all of them as this scripture talks about are given so that we can serve. Um, these gifts are given for the good of all. Um, and it says that each believer is given the Holy Spirit who gives these gifts. So as believers, we are given access to the Holy Spirit who gives these gifts for the use of the body, for the good of the body so that we can serve. So are we serving? Are we using these gifts? Are we um, making sure that we are appreciating our pastors, serve, supporting our pastors by the use of our gifts, whatever our gifts may be. We should not, as believers, be bumps on the log, always looking for how people can serve us. We should contribute our gifts to the body. Um, so that could be cooking, that could be ushering, that could be singing, that could be helping sharing in the load of this teaching um, that our pastors do. That could be literally anything. I mean, if you have the gift of giving people candy and they give some great joy, I mean, like whatever it is, it could be organization. Let's make sure that we're actually using those gifts. Um, the apostle Paul was talking to his student, um, his protege, Timothy, and he says in, um, Second Timothy chapter one, verses six through seven. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So even Timothy had to be reminded to stir up the gift of God, which was given to him. And I think and I hope that this video is a reminder for you too to stir up the gift within you. It's not your pastor's job to stir up the gifts or force you to use your gift. You have a mandate to stir up the gift within you, to um, gird yourself up and to use your gift for the uplifting of the body of Christ, 
for the good of all and for service to all. So stir up the gift within you, the gift that the Holy Spirit has given you for the body of Christ. And remember, you can do that. You can serve. You can appreciate your pastor through your service because God did not give you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. Okay. So I think our pastors will be happy. I think our pastors will be proud. I think our pastors will be appreciative if we use our gifts in service of God's mission. Um, because when we're using our gifts, it really does take a load off of our pastor. And we will be supporting our pastor, holding their arms up. And we also will be walking in what they teach because it's biblical for you to serve and to use your gifts. Um, and so I just want to give you a reminder to stir up the gifts within you and to use them in service, not just to your pastor, but most of all, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So are you using your gifts? If not, I encourage you to think about how you can start using them more and be serving more um, in the days to come. All right. I love to know how you all stir up your gifts. I would love to know how you use your gifts in service to the body of Christ. And if you think that when we use our gifts, it really is a way of showing our appreciation to our pastor. Hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time for a little TLC. Bye-bye.